World Cup Roundup, a daily 90-second look at the ministries and matches of the 2010 World Cup. 32 nations continue to scramble for a spot in the FIFA World Cup Round of 16. This week saw some surprising wins and some shocking losses. In the winner's circle were Uruguay, Argentina, Serbia, Mexico, and Greece. And losses included Spain and Germany. It was a dramatic day for Team USA as they faced Slovenia. What could have been a 3-2 victory for the U.S. squad ended in a 2-2 draw when a goal was called back. The U.S. now face a tough challenge to make it through to the next round. Meanwhile, U.S. midfielder Ricardo Clark spoke to us about the importance of his faith, both on the field and off. Every day is a struggle with faith sometimes, but you know, I try to have that, that foundation there. And it's, it's helped me throughout, throughout everything. It gives me, gives me courage, gives me, gives me strength in the good times and the bad times, on and off the field. As the world unites for the 2010 World Cup, South African and North American women soccer players unite for a training camp outside of Pretoria. Athletes in Action, a Campus Crusade for Christ affiliate, range for outreach opportunities to share the gospel in the underprivileged areas of the city. Meanwhile, each morning staff and volunteers of International World Changers get out and walk the streets of Soweto. They prayer walk and share their testimonies. They invite children to participate in soccer clinics held in the afternoons. These clinics touch the children's lives as the volunteers share the love of Christ and help them understand how Jesus wants a personal relationship with them. Stay connected to World Soccer Journeys for daily news and highlights throughout the World Cup.